How are you doing? I hope you don't mind me getting situated in your safe house. Crime marches on, and so will I. There are still cases that need to be closed, if you'll help me. All right. Excellent. I uploaded a case to Bagley. He can brief you on it. Kang Kelly's been sending a ton of crypto to an unknown party in Cairo. Something to do with Kronos X. New dark web designer drug, right? The cops were trying hard to keep it off London streets back when the cops tried to, you know, do things. It's a highly addictive psychotropic with a staggeringly high fatality rate that stands to make Kang Kelly a lot of money. Right. Blood money. Well, the phrase Finsbury New Project keeps popping up in their comms if you'd like to take a look into it. Surprise, you twat. Between my work with 404 and tracking down Sky Larson's neural map nightmares, I thought I could do with a new workspace. I could do with your help as well. I just clocked a hit and run by a black cab. Happened a while ago, but the news ain't picking up on it. Do I give a damn? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because all of London's black cabs are driverless, run by AI. Let's talk about Albion PMC, the only British organisation to successfully oppress more of the developing world than the British government. Led by Nigel Cass, a man the partisan media calls a charismatic visionary, and Amnesty International calls a war criminal. Albion was given the key to the city to re-establish order following the bombings. Can't get more suspicious than that. It is. So that's two reasons why we need to find an angle on Cass. we found one. His name? Hamish Bellagi. Born in London, Bellagi was a recipient of the Cass Foundation Technical Scholarship at 14, which included a mentorship with Cass himself. At 16, Bellagi designed Cass's first drone fleet. Fun fact, Cass delayed the launch by a week so it would land on Bellagi's birthday. Cass sounds like Bellagi's second dad. Why would he help us? They had a falling out after an incident in the night at Delta three years ago. A buried human rights investigation accuses Cass of ordering a drone fleet to wipe out a village protesting the construction of a pipeline, but the drones malfunctioned before they could. Bellagi is named as the likely saboteur. He's been on the run ever since, but now tracking data shows he's reappeared in London. Shit, he's looking for redemption like with the protesters. This guy designed Cass's drone fleet. I think he's trying to disarm Albion. He covers his tracks well, but that's a good guess. Unfortunately, according to this Albion intelligence report intercepted by our friend Caitlin Lau, Cass knows Bellagi's in London as well. So, that's the op. Make contact with Bellagi before Albion finds him. Then convince him we have a mutual enemy in Cass. So this guy's our best chance to stop Albion and clear our names. And the largest private army on Earth wants him dead. No pressure. It took some doing, but I've narrowed down the area where we're most likely to find Hamish Bellagi. I've pushed the coordinates to your optic.
feeling ready to fight? Let's go. Self-driving takes lazy toward pool level. Balaji has been snooping into Albion's affairs, quietly of course, but I've been able to determine that most of his activity stems from this area. Good. Let us go introduce ourselves. Not so fast. Hamish isn't in, according to his home security. And before you get ideas, he's rigged his front door to a series of traps designed to delete all of his data and then your life. Not necessarily in that order. Fucking paranoid. To be fair, you are an armed insurgent trying to break into his flat. Anyway, you should be able to connect to the local grid and use security cameras to disarm his traps. Copy. I believe the main interface is on the rooftop. Bugs, what about them windows up there? Sure, if you can get there. Three options here. One, use the window washing platform. Two, find a cargo drone. Three, give up, go home, and resolve to be a better person. I'm onto it. Look at all these blood clot traps around here. How we get around them? You could force the traps to unlock by rewiring the power. I'm onto it. Welcome to Claire and Present Danger, and welcome to Fascist London. Don't let that boot on the back of your neck disturb you. In time, you'll barely feel it. We have to wake up, people. If there was a playbook for setting up a totalitarian police state, Albion would be most of the way through it and working on the epilogue. They certainly took advantage of the fallout from the bombings, didn't they? Preyed on the fears of the city government, too. They were only too happy to hand Nigel Cass the keys to the city. 
Wash the hands to the whole mess. The collar will only get tighter now, friends, unless we do something. We can't wait for someone else to fight back. We are the change. Traps are disarmed. Now, if you go through the front door of the flat, it's much less likely you'll be killed. loose.
good news. It's time to put your life on the line for the resistance. Took you long enough. One more muscle, Chief, and I'll blow the whole place with you in it. Hold on there, lad. Just relax. Who the fuck are you? And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Not likely. Think resistance. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. Hold on! Albion knows you're here! Blow me up or not, you got a scram. Fuck me. You're telling the truth, aren't you? <sighs> Fucking hell, thought I was careful. Fucking idiot, Amish! Look, cuss is worse than you know. What the hell do you think I'm here for? My elf? Maybe, cuz Nigel Cass is paying you. That's how fucking Merc's work. I'm not with Cass. Get that into your head. Just need your help taking him down. He was in on the bombings. Mate, you don't know shit. You have no idea what Cass is and what. Move, move, oh, move! Fuck! And I'll be in squads closing in on you. I guess you weren't lying about that part. Fuck, think, Amish, think. Shit, fine. Table it. I'll buy you some time. Just go. No! no! Comrade is now taking an Albion mandated timeout. You're up. Already? All right. Let's go to work then. I think all that excitement convinced our new friend Hamish that we need to work together to tackle Cass. He's willing to cooperate. 